On April 12, 1862, led by James Andrews, some Union soldiers during the Civil War stole this engine, <laughs> the General, at Big Shanty, and it led to what is now the great locomotive chase, which has been made into many movies, two of my favorite, The Great Locomotive Chase, the Disney movie, but my favorite of all time is the movie The General by Buster Keaton, and I recommend anybody watching that. It is a very funny movie. And this is significant to me, not because of Civil War history. The reason I like this is this went right through my backyard, practically. <laughs> so, uh, Kennesaw, Georgia is where Big Shanty was. And this is where the actual real general locomotive is in a museum, at the Southern Museum. And they have uh, Civil War history there, there's railway history, and you can see the actual locomotive. But we have a model here of the General, and we're going to be unboxing this set by Bachman Trains. And this video is sponsored by Trainworld. Trainworld.com is one of the best resources to buy the trains that you like. They have just about everything, and has been my favorite place to buy new items. You can just find anything you want there, basically. Now, the prices are great, too. All right, so let's unbox this and just see what this little locomotive looks like. I'm going to get this out of the plastic. So that big shanty area, they still have some roads that have uh, the name Big Shanty, but the town that the locomotive is actually located in right now is called Kennesaw, Georgia. And some of the towns that it... The, the locomotive chase went through where the Confederate soldiers were chasing the Union soldiers that had stolen the general. And along the way, they were causing much confusion and delay by cutting telegraph lines and things like that. Um, the, the cities that it went through are a lot of the cities that are still here today in my area. The one that's closest to me where I live now is called Kingston. Uh, there is no depot there. Uh, actually, most of these, none of these really have depots anymore, but a lot of the towns that it went through, like Kingston, Adairsville is just a little up the way, little ways up the road from me. There is a depot still there. It is a museum now, and it went through some other historic areas, Calhoun, Tunnel Hill, uh, just uh, up, this, up the Western Atlantic Railway, which later became other railways, such as the Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis, uh, the LNN, and now it is the CSX Railroad. Now, the great thing about sets like this is they're starter sets, so they have like everything you need uh, to run a train right out of the box. You don't have to buy anything else to set it up. And here is the packaging they use to protect the locomotives where they come to you and they're not damaged, as well as the, the cars that are included. Looks like it's got the knuckle style couplers, which are very good. We got a little car there. We'll get these out and show them in more detail. And then here's the rest of it. It has the black track. Sometimes I can't tell. They'll have on the box, it'll be the black, and then they'll, they'll have the um, the gray track. I got to untie all, uh oh, I got to untie all that, get it out. This is steel track. So if you ever see the Bachman track, the easy track, uh, that's easy to connect, <laughs> and it's black, it's the steel, which will need some maintenance over time. The other with the uh, light gray ballast is, I think that's the nickel silver, the kind that doesn't um, uh, corrode as, as quickly or at all. It's very easy, much easier to keep clean. So this is uh, more inexpensive uh, to get if you're wanting to add more track to your collection. So we got the we got the transformer. Actually, this is the transformer, this is the speed controller, the wire to connect to the terminal re-railer. We got an oval track with four straight tracks. And we got this building, which I think is the telegraph office, because uh, on that great locomotive chase, they were cutting down the telegraph wires. I will try to be careful taking these out. They got the little paper, uh, plastic around it where you can pull it out without damaging it. I may still damage it. You gotta be careful because you don't wanna break the little break there. <laughs> Let's see, is this, oh look, the door opens and closes on this little Western and Atlantic Railroad boxcar. Oh, 
Oh, come on out. Here is the Western and Atlantic Old Time Combine. I guess it could carry the mail and the passengers all in one. You didn't need as many passenger cars back in the 1860s. <laughs> and since trains were relatively new back then, uh, usually the freight and the passenger were combined all into one uh, train. It's very common to see back then. Nice combine here. We'll get some shots of it on the track. We got our Western and Atlantic old time gondola. Very nice. I wonder if a GoPro will fit on this. Kind of. <laughs> that actually will work. <laughs> nice. And now it makes me nervous to get this out. I don't want to break it. I'm very bad at breaking stuff. So let's see if I can get it out. Again, fortunately, they got this paper plastic. I keep wanting to call. I keep wanting to call it. I'll pull, pop this out here. There we go. I think it's connected to the coal car or wood car. It's wood. They used wood back then. I should know that. I watched the general. So it's not a coal tender. It's a wood tender. So these are all attached as one piece. Man, this looks really nice. This is really nice. It's got a wire going back. That's for extra pickup right there, I suppose. There's another... Is that a wire going in the middle? No, that's just a, like some type of a coupler or something going through there. But it's the general. Set that down before I break it. And before I put the box to the side, it, I love it. It says, now you can join the adventure as Union Raiders sabotage Rebel Rail Lines and the Civil War's great locomotive chase. Who, which one are we going to be? Are we going to be the ones... Are we going to be the, the Raiders on the General? Or are we going to be the ones chasing them? There's the Texas. They need to make a Texas. Did they make a Texas? That's the Texas coming up. It's coming backwards. And they set that boxcar on fire in the in the covered bridge uh, which was done in uh, the general by buster keaton and and then it's got the story of the great locomotive chase here like i said april 12th 1862 james andrew and a group of union raiders commandeered the southern locomotive the general uh, so it's got more information there that you can see you can pause it if you want to read that if i hold it still all right so this is again the parts list which we have. You can add more track accessories to expand your layout if you want. And so this type of track, this is great. I wish they had stuff like this when I was a kid with the starter sets uh, because not only is it easy to put together and take apart, uh, but it, it's better for floors and things that a lot of people are going to be using these on. I, I, I'm fortunate to have a table here that I can set this up on right now, but uh, you still, even though it's easy track, you still want to make sure you get the rail joiners in there not off center or you'll have a little bump there and it could cause the train to derail but it is just that easy to connect sometimes you can connect it without even trying i'm trying to make sure they're lined up Poof, pretty easy right so these are 18 inch radius uh, curve tracks so it'll make about a 36 inch wide oval and then the nine inch straight tracks that adds 18 so it's 54 inches going across so that didn't take any time to set up so all we got left now is this and this and this and to build that i'm going to go ahead and get the train where i can run it so basically you can connect this here and that there and then this piece connects to the terminal rail joiner right there the terminal Re-railer. Did I call it a rail joiner before? My mind's all messed up. Don't worry about it. It's a it's a re-railer or a crossing, whatever you want to call it. And they call it a, a re-railer because you can actually just use it to put the train cars on there. Pretty simple. Easy peasy. Oops, I did that. All right, there we go. Boom. See if I can put this on there. I'm doing this from the other side of the table. I'm sorry. All right, got it on there. It is ready to go. 
I got to run this before I build that. Whoops, change direction. Ran right out of the box. Uh oh. Whoops. All right, so that was great. That was literally the first time I tried it, um, and it, it ran right away. But as I was talking about with the track, oops, I missed a rail joiner there. We had a little bump. We were getting a head start on trying to cause some confusion and delay. Actually, the general is supposed to be causing havoc on the Texas that's chasing it. And another reason I'm partial to the general is uh, because at Six Flags Over Georgia, they had a replica. I think it was actually a smaller gauge. Actually, or it might have been the same gauge. I don't remember what gauge these were. <laughs> but they had it at, at Six Flags Over Georgia, and they had the general and the Texas but they ran them in the same direction. I always thought they should have been running the Texas backwards because that's the way it chased the general. I turned it backwards. We gotta go forward, general. Here comes the general. There's the wooden um, tender for it. We got our gondola, the box car that they will set on fire later, <laughs> and the combine. Trying to find a good thumbnail picture. Okay, so now I need to build this, the uh, telegraph for the depot or whatever that is. So we need to build that. I love it. I love this locomotive. Like I said, they got the real one on display at that Southern Museum. Uh, we did get to see it earlier this year at a train show. They have a train show there every year, and they have a festival around the time of the original uh, locomotive chase. I missed it this year. Uh, in fact, it was, I think it's actually going on. <laughs> right now. All right. Back up, General. So I was able to build the quartermaster office, telegraph. Uh, no glue is required. I'm not the best builder. Uh, I almost broke it trying to build it, but uh, you just follow the... If you follow the directions, it's actually easier to build than if you try to build it without following the directions. Let me see if I can snap these pieces back in. That's a little better. I don't think I got that in there the right way, but there we go. Still looks all right. Telegraph office. And best part is got the uh, kegs in the back. <laughs> so you don't really have to paint it if you don't want to. It's, it's just pretty much ready to go. I wonder how that would look on my Thomas and Friends layout. <laughs> think I should put it on there? Oh, come back, General. So a lot of times when I see trains go through my town and I'm in downtown Cartersville or Calhoun or Adairsville, Kennesaw, I often think of this locomotive, the real one, going through so many years ago. What is it, like a hundred? I can't do the math. Almost 150 years ago. 
you know, what it was like to live back then. Just thinking about those things and how things have progressed since those days. Just something I like to think about. But what a beautiful locomotive. I really, I'm really pleased with this one, how, how it looks. It's been running the whole time when I was building the station. It took me a while to build this. I mean, the quartermaster office, telegraph office. But anyway, I had fun with it. Is that beer? So tell me what you think. There will be a link in the description below. I did check earlier and this was cheaper than the ones uh, that I've seen on eBay and Amazon if you order from Train World. So there will be links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Trains are fun on Trains Are Fun. Wrong way. Whoops. What did I do wrong?